In this video, you will learn 11 plus comparing fractions. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. We're going to learn three types on how to compare fractions. So this is type one on how to compare fractions when both the denominators are the same. So let's have a look at the example we have which is 1 over 4 and 3 over 4. So the denominator is the number at the bottom, and the number at the bottom we have in 1 over 4 is 4, and the number we have at the bottom in 3 over 4 is also 4. And as you guys could see, we have both the same denominator, which is obviously right. So in this case, you'll have to compare the numerator, which are 1 and 3. You're going to find the larger one out of 1 and 3, the larger one out of 1 and 3, is obviously 3. So this means the alligator eats a greater numerator, which is 3. So therefore, 1 over 4 is less than 3 over 4. Now, let's have a look at type 2, which is when, when you compare fractions when both of the numerators are the same. Let's have a look at the example we have, which is 5 over 6 and 5 over 8. The numerator is the number at the top, and it is 5 over 6, we have 5, and in 5 over 8, we also have 5. So therefore, the numerators are the same. In this case, you'll have to look at the denominators, and you'll have to compare the denominators, which are 6 and 8. The denominators are the ones at the bottom. So we'll have to find the smaller one out of 6 and 8. The smaller one out of 6 and 8 is obviously 6. So the alligator eats the smaller denominator, which is 6. So 5 over 6 is greater than 5 over 8. Now, let's have a look at type 3 on comparing fractions when both the numerator and the denominators are different. So let's have a look at this example. And the example is 3 over 8 and 2 over 5. And as you guys could see, the numerators and the denominators are different. So for this type, you can't use type 1 or type 2. So the method we're going to use is called the butterfly method. So for the butterfly method, we're going to multiply the denominator of one fraction to the numerator of the other fraction. So 5 times 3 is 15. So we're going to multiply from the denominator of one fraction to the numerator of the other fraction. So 8 times 2 is going to give you 16. Now we're going to compare the 15 and the 16. So we're going to see which one of these numbers is larger, whether 15 or 16. And as we all know, 16 is larger, so therefore 2 over 5 is greater than 3 over 8, or 3 over 8 is less than 2 over 5. Now, let's have a quick recap on what we learned. So when both the denominators are the same, so both the numbers and the bottom are the same, so we have 2 fourths and they're the same. The alligator eats a greater numerator. The numerator is the number at the top, so 1 and 3. The greater one is obviously 3. So therefore, 1 over 4 is less than 3 over 4, or 3 over 4 is greater than 1 over 4. When both the numerators are the same, so the numbers at the top are the same, we have two fives, they're the same. In this case, the alligator eats a smaller denominator, the denominator is the number at the bottom. So out of 8 and 6, 6 is a smaller one, so therefore 5 over 6 is greater than 5 over 8. When both the numerators and the denominators are different, then you will have to use the butterfly method. So in this, you will have to multiply from the denominator of one number to the numerator of the other number. You have to cross multiply. So 5 times 3 gives us 15. And then you will have to multiply, do the same thing. So 8 times 2 gives you 16. So 2 over 5 is greater than 3 over 8. Or 3 over 8 is less than 2 over 5. Now to learn more on 11 plus maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.